Hello, welcome to part 58 of Airbnb Clone Ruby on Rails series. I'm a bit scared about the last video because of the mistakes that I did. Uh, so if Stripe payment related details are clear to you, do let me know in comments. And if it is not, uh, especially let me know in comments. Uh, okay, so let's start with the video. Uh, in last, we wrote that once the payment is successful, this action will get called, which is success. And in that, we want to add reservation and payment details to our offline. But to add these details, reservation and payment details, we need all these details. Remember that we are revisiting this controller. So we don't have these details again. So what we will do is we'll pass that in our URL. You can, there are multiple options that you can do. Uh, first option is to create a session uh, locally, save it in local database session cache, and from that retrieve it. First option is that. Second option is that you can uh, save it in database first, save it in database you in create, uh, save the details like the reservation payment details and mark it as like the payment is not finished, it is in process. And if it is successful, mark that as successful payment and if you can also pass in cancel URL and if it is canceled, mark it as cancel URL, but this is not the best approach. Uh, first one is good, which is session and second one, which I, I am showing it is also good, which is passing the parameters in this URL, booking params, uh, I want to pass in all these params. Let me break it into multiple lines. For better visibility, basically. Better readability, not visibility. Except, we don't want this Stripe token. So that's the first thing that we have done. Uh, we are passing the booking parameters. And there's one mistake from last uh, changes that we did. We removed a Stripe customer, right? But we are still using a Stripe customer ID in our schema. So if we go to our schema, Stripe, we are using a Stripe customer ID. So we will have to remove that. For that, we can add a migration, Rails DB, sorry, Rails generate migration, remove, Stripe customer ID from users. Okay, it has not generated any change because we haven't mentioned it. Let's make drop column in Rails. Yes. Remove column then name of the table which is users and then name of the column which is stripe so let's do this migration raise db migrate and it was successful and let's see if our schema has changed it has changed so this is done <coughs> now Once we receive this information, we will receive all these as parameters, right? Uh, so what we'll do is we'll mention it as parameters only. Let's add a reservation. For that reservation is equals to reservation dot create. Let me check a schema of reservations. It uses user ID, property ID, check in it, check out it. So for user ID, I think we can remove user ID from all these. We don't need, <coughs> we can use current user directly. So user ID will be current user dot ID. Property ID will be okay. 
booking params property id check in date will be check in date here booking params check in date comma and comma and finally check out date here and race we will add payment details later let's check if this is working or not for that refresh let me sign in test1 at gmail.com let me book this property from 1st 7th march 12th 12th march uh, 324 confirm and pay 324 great 4242424242 Hopefully the redirection works and it was successful booking param property ID and this is a mistake. Okay, let me write params. Okay, inside params we have booking params. Params. yes we'll have to write it like this property id and it is working so what we will do is we'll create a booking parents here which will be this and it should solve our problem let's refresh and let's write this here and it is 4 which is correct this is also correct great so we have a reservation uh, let me go to our console also clear rails c reservation dot last and it is correct user id 4 property id 4 7th till 12th so let's exit this clear now we will add payment also okay so for that we need what all details will be added in payment reservation id base fare service fee and total amount so let's first focus on reservation id only rails generate model payment we want to generate a model for payment and in this reservation references it will reference reservation let's check our model first database migration reservation it is not null and all looks good <clears throat> let's do this migration rails db migrate i'll add payment details later on now there is couple of things whenever we do migration in this migration two models are getting affected payments and reservation so payment is written correctly and in reservation we will write as one payment so each reservation will have one payment and only one payment okay uh, so that's done but this reservation in turn depends upon user and property so in this we can do something like this uh, we'll read it like this user has many payments through reservation so definitely a user has many payments they have made ma many payments to various properties right similarly for property we will read it as property has many payments through reservations and dependent destroy 
basically it means that a property has many payments definitely a property has many bookings so it means it has many payments so let's close all these and now i want to add monetize let's search this directly this is one of the migrations that we did so i'll add it rails db rails generate migration add columns add money to payments let's go to the migration i'll paste this directly and let me fix this instead of properties we are adding monetize to payments i'll use base fare copy copy paste paste uh, base fare and service fee and then total amount i think i made one minor mistake you can fix it if you want no we haven't made that mistake this is we would have fine we will keep it there it's fine uh so let's do this migration rails db migrate the result of this is that if we go to our schema we can have a look at this payments which depends upon a reservation reservation in turn contains property id user id check in date check out it and base fare service fee and total amount all the amount related details are added so now again same concept this migration affects payment so let's go and make some changes in payments i'm copying this from property earlier we had done that this is all concept of uh, money rates which i have explained in earlier videos so instead of price cents it should be base fair cents allow nil false it cannot be nil same goes for ser vic service fee and finally total amount and what i will do is i'll go to my console and remove that reservation also because that reservation doesn't have a payment so reservation dot last dot destroy exit clear we will start this later now what do we have to do we have created our payment table we have to add it add a payment so for that payment is equals to payment dot create reservation id which will be this reservation dot id uh, we will have to add money also so for that base fare will be i think we have used it earlier yes we'll convert it to money object we want a money object here base fare remember to change it at both places service fee service fee and finally total amount total amount so we have all four details that we are adding to payment once these things are successful we want to show all payments of users or all bookings of users on a single page but we don't have that page right now so what i'll do is i'll add a to do redirect to all bookings page and for now because we want to test whether it is working correctly or not redirect to root path we will redirect to the home page so let's see moment of truth 
again 7 to 12 this confirm and pay Four two four two four two four two four two four two four two. I'm talking a bit slow because a bit uh, low because it's almost two a.m. midnight, uh, and people are sleeping here. Let's see. Something was incorrect. What was incorrect? Okay, this was incorrect. We have to use booking params, booking params, booking params. Uh, but the reservation was successful. So we will again have to go to Rails console and get rid of this reservation. Reservation dot last dot test try reservation dot count zero reservations great exit clear and let's refresh if this works and it worked and we went to home directly rail c reservation dot count there is one reservation and let's see that reservation which is for Fourth booking, seven to twelve March. Uh, let's do one more, which is payment dot last. Total amount is thirty seven three twenty four dollars. So let's do another booking and see. Let's exit this clear. Let's book this for twenty eight twenty nine reserve. Uh, hundred and sixteen dollars. Let's see, and we were redirected to home. We might show notice, but I think we, we once we go to the payments page, uh, sorry, all the property pages, it will automatically work correctly. So let's not do anything in this. Let's go to console and reservation dot last property ID six twenty eight twenty nine. Great, hundred and sixteen or something, right? So payment dot last. 116 so we have done one major work now i think we might face some issues when we implement this uh, google maps which we will do in the end now i'll take it a bit slow in next videos what i'll do is i'll uh, whenever we bookmark these properties i'll show i'll create a page on which we will show these properties we'll show these bookings we'll show these reservations uh, we'll show user profile. So all those pages. Now we will work on the admin side or the dashboard side of the stuff. And I'm happy with all these things. Uh, for now, obviously we can improve this UI, but for now it's fine. So that's major thing that we have finished. Now I need help from you. First of all, subscribe to these videos if you have visited this till this point. I think you can like these videos and subscribe to this channel at the same time i want to collect feedback uh, and this would be the best time because last three videos haven't been that great uh, so what i'm doing is i'll link this document uh, google spreadsheet uh, sorry google form in this video uh, description so go to the description open this google form in this you can fill out a couple of details. First is obviously the name, country. Uh, I just want to understand the geography a bit better. That's it. Uh, your professional experience level and how many videos you have seen. And the important thing for me is, would you be interested in meeting me one-to-one? -one? If you are, that means that I can interact with you 
I can understand my audience a bit better and I can ask you questions related to what all difficulties you have faced while watching these videos and implementing this project so that in future we can improve on these things and if you are if you are interested in meeting me uh, feel free to share an email uh, but if you are not interested in meeting me then if you can give a feedback here in text format that would be great but i haven't written i have made it optional just because i didn't want to force anyone and obviously i've kept this required because it's easy to mark so you can rate it here also so that's it if you can give feedback that would be great obviously we do have like let me check uh playlist i'm just checking how much of this series is pending get to shareable link let's open this okay we have done 19 minutes including this video it will be almost 20 hours sorry 19 hours almost 20 hours uh so i think roughly five to six hours of videos are pending and these videos are really easy like we'll be doing same thing again and again uh, google maps and search implementation will be a bit complex and important that's all thanks a lot bye bye